Lucky linked by Dr. Aziz Ahmad Hafiz, who is the Director for Disaster Relief. And um, Aziz is here to join us this afternoon to talk to us about his campaign. He's working on a social media fundraising campaign to raise funds to create an IT lab for the blind and visually impaired in Gaza. So, Aziz, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. You're most welcome. Thank you very much. Hi. Well, it sounds like something that we want you to tell Bradford more about. Um, you know. Excellent. Good. Well, Thank you. So, so do explain. So, d a disaster. So, mm. uh, we, I work as a volunteer for a charity called Humanity First. Uh -huh. uh, Humanity First is an international disaster relief charity that's been going for the last two decades. Uh, it works in disasters in war torn parts of the world, natural disasters. Uh, it's a charity that was set up by the Ambia Muslim community worldwide, uh, and it works across all borders, all faiths, all colours. Uh, and sort of learning disabilities and physical and uh, uh, physical impairment is something quite close to our hearts, mm -hmm. and particularly blindness. Yeah. Now, here, living in the West, blindness is something that, yes, it's difficult, it's a, but we've got a lot of resource to deal with it. Yes. We've lost facilities, there's a lot of technology that can help the blind and visually impaired. In sort of third world parts of the world and in disaster hit areas and in man-made disasters, How different sort of developing countries like, like Palestine, uh, it's very, very difficult. Mm. So we are working in partnership with one of the universities there in setting up an IT lab which essentially contains a lot of state-of-the-art equipment that allows people that can't see to actually use their computer, use their iPad, use right. their PC, and actually hear what we are seeing, yes. essentially, yeah. on the screen. Yeah. So this is um, bringing together different partners, isn't it? It's bringing together the um, Humanity First and yeah. the university and the local oh. knowledge and all those Absolutely. sort of partners coming together to make this work. Absolutely. Absolutely. With all things you, that you, you bring people, experts in their areas. So the university provides a lot of students across Palestine in terms of an access to an education, a lot yes. of poor students. Um, so you've got very layers of difficulty. So people that are poor generally, they've got problems accessing education as well. Mm -hmm. Then you couple that with uh, an impairment such as visual impairment, yeah. uh, and they're almost thrown on the, on the lower rungs of society. And that's going to have a really horrible effect on people's self-esteem and self-confidence, and then they're going to get depressed and become socially isolated. And Absolutely. Mm. You hit the nail on the head. All these factors that I, in my in my day-to-day -day job, living here in, in Bingley, West Yorkshire, yeah. I see the impact of things like this living in a, in a well-to-do country like we're living here. Yeah. And they have such an impact on self-esteem. Uh, you can multiply that a thousand-fold in an area where there is a lot of poverty, where there's a lot of strife, uh, living under an occupation, so many, so many social and economic factors uh, and that end up compounding their, their difficulties. And is stigma a problem as well? Because I can imagine that somebody who's not able to access education and then they're feeling pretty rubbish about themselves with low self-esteem and self-confidence, they could be feeling quite vulnerable, really. Is You're absolutely right. I mean, if you look on our, on our sort of two-minute video viral that we've got on the crowd from the website, we've got some interviews there within the bar of some of the students. And, and they're, 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 very, they're very frank and honest interviews. They're not, mm. they're not polished up in any way. Uh, and I, I ummed and ahed before I thought, should we actually put this forward as part of the campaign? But then I decided, yes, we should, because it's honest. Yes. And what I ummed and ahed about was one of the students, when you see on the website, she comments, she says that, well, actually, in my day, not he, in my day to day moving around the university, uh, I sometimes need help from people, obviously help walking from here to there. Mm. And, I, and I get the feeling in my heart people are not necessarily comfortable in helping me. Oh. Uh, so I felt really, really pained by that. Yeah. And as a team, when we were preparing the campaign, we looked at that and said, do, do we want to put this as part of our fundraising campaign? And then we decided, so why not? It's yeah. the truth. It, yeah. it, it's, it's a student who's giving his honest opinion on how he feels. That's not a generalised thing, but it, it's quite an impassioned comment, and it brings you bring it home the reality of 
impairments. So it's impairments. Easy. We're, we're sold, we're sold. We all want to get involved. <laughs> we all want to support this. What's the best way for people? Because you did mention crowdfunding. So yes. this, this is a fundraising exercise because obviously this sort of stuff isn't yes. going to cost 40 quid, is it? You're talking, no, no, you're talking exactly mega bucks. Not. It is. So yeah. we are, we've got a, uh, we're looking, at, we have a target of 40,000 pounds. Okay. That will allow us to buy all the equipment that we need for this lab. Really? Equipment is, yes. Wow. So it, it, in the scheme of things, it's a, it's a very, it's not a huge amount of money. No, I was expecting you to say loads more than that. No, no. For, for £40,000, we can get, and that's the equipment. The, the university sh have put their share in, so they put the building in, so they put the building, they put the room, they put the staffing costs. Uh, oh. So this is where the partnership comes yeah, into yeah. it. Uh, so there's the salaries for the, the staff that will run it are paid by the university. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are getting resources together to make sure that the whole lab is kitted out with the best equipment there is. So people who want to donate, what, what's the so best way for them to do that? They can go onto the Crowdfunder website. It's www.crowdfunder.co.uk forward slash humanity first. That's nice and simple. Nice and simple. Not bad. And on that, you'll see the equipment, you'll see our promotional viral, uh, you'll see the, the printers, the, the equipment that allows you to use your computer, the Braille Sense equipment, the software that allows you to, you hear what you see on a window. So if you, you'll see your start page and you'll see your My Computer and your documents as you hover over, it will speak to you and tell you exactly which bit of the screen you're on. Aziz, thank you so much for coming along and telling us about this. I, th I think you should come again, actually, and keep us updated. We need one of those. We're, we're, we're more than happy. And the, the, one of the beauties of the crowd is the world. Oh, you've disappeared. Now then, Aziz did mention that he had poor signal. I don't think I don't think he's fallen off a cliff. I think he's just lost his signal. But I think we got the gist of what he was on about there. So www.crowdfunder.co.uk forward slash humanity first. That's where you want to go. Thank you.